Hey everyone, welcome to another pour video. So this is a rather special painting for many reasons. And before I talk about the main reason, I want to tell you about the painting. So ever so often, I forget that failure is a major part of being an artist. And I was on the verge of giving up a couple of weeks ago. Um, I keep on struggling with my paint recipe. I discovered rather spectacularly that I cannot add any water at all to the li Liquidex pouring medium and Floetrol mix if it only has pigment in it. The paint ran and crazed and shifted and basically did everything I didn't want it to do. Um, luckily, I had committed myself to making this painting and it was super well timed because like I am so grateful that I didn't quit because it turned out to be one of the best paintings I've ever done in my opinion. On to the actual painting part of it. Um, I only ended up showing about half of the spray painting. You get the general idea. I was basically doing the same thing over and over again until I was happy with the gradient. I mean, if I had showed all the footage of it, it would have been like a half hour video, even all sped up. Uh, and I'm thinking that everyone would have been pretty bored with that. Um, as for the ribbons, I uh, usually don't see things in my paintings, but in this one, depending on which way you look at it, it could be like a swan or a hummingbird or a floating head. <laughs> I was just so stoked when I first did it, and I had had such problems with drawing before. I like checked on this painting 50 times in like six hours while it was drying. Uh, <laughs> and it, thankfully it dried perfectly. I, I was so relieved. Um, the main colors that I was going for in this painting uh, was pink and gray because uh, these are the favorite colors of the awesome woman that this painting is for. This awesome woman is having a significant health challenge at the moment, uh, cancer. She's already done battle with the big C a couple of years ago and won, but life has dealt her a tough hand. I was and still am so impressed with her first victory and quite frankly, a little disappointed in the universe for making her fight a second round. However, she has some aces mixed in there, such as her incredible resilience, fighting spirit, and her aptitude for writing. So, even though this painting is for her, this is a collaboration um, because she wrote beautifully about Hope a while ago and I thought it might be cool to share it on here and spread her message. Um, everyone has some sort of battle they're fighting, some are bigger than others, but we all have the same end goal. This painting is inspired by her words and I know her message will inspire others as it has inspired me. In turn, I'm hoping that every time she looks at my painting, she is reminded her brilliant writing and epic battling is an inspiration for so many, and that knowledge helps tighten her grip on hope. So without further ado, here it is. So says this quote from my beloved show, Grey's Anatomy, holding on to hope is not a pipe dream. It is actually one of the most difficult things you can do. For some people, hope is all they have. When the worst seems to be reality, when there is no sign of things getting better, when you can seemingly never get it out of the eternal darkness that we inevitably all endure as part of our human experience, holding on to hope can be the only thing to make a bad situation seem bearable. Hope is kind of like a faithful wish, something we want to happen and the belief that one day it will come true for us. Hope allows us to aspire to brighter things in the future. Hope is the feeling that against all odds, there is a possibility for a better outcome. It is something we all need to propel us towards building a plan to help us prosper in love, in our careers, in any and all aspects of our lives. Hope can be the blanket that keeps us warm at night, the thing that we hold on to to get us through dark times. Hope is not silly. It's in fact very admirable to breed bright ideas through dire situations, to keep the faith when we feel helpless, to be innovative when all signs point to demise. When all else fails and we have nothing to look forward to and we are sad, in pain, or otherwise down, hope is a dream of better days, better people, and better things ahead. And for me, a dream is a lot. A dream means I can picture myself in the future, looking back at my current situation and laugh or smile 
and know that there are possibilities to grow is simply yet also so greatly my inspiration. Hope can be accessed by anyone of any financial class, of any race, of any gender or non-gender. It is one of the luxuries afforded to us just for the sake of being human beings and one we should all take advantage of. Hope will take you by the hand and never let go as long as you're hanging on. Hope is a virtue. It is a companion we all need. I know I can get pretty down to myself and the universe, but the truth is I'm a dreamer and always have been. You might even say I have a hard time staying in the moment because I'm always running away in ideas of and making plans for the future. I have many hopes for my family, for my home, my career, for a puppers or kitten to smother with love. And these things have been inherently and also somehow in contradiction of their very essence grounding in themselves. Concrete and achievable goals with a little discipline, perseverance, and patience. Hope is how I have the nerve to imagine my future. Hope keeps the dream alive that I can be someone who has something positive to contribute to this world. Hope is my escape. Keep dreaming. So I really hope that I did the writing justice um, and that you really like the painting. Um, Yeah, that's about it. Keep on fighting the good fight. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.